Hello everyone. Namaste from Joy of Reading. Today's story is The Magic Block. The author is Lavina Mehbubani, illustrator is Rohit Karandadi, and the publisher is Pratham Books. The Magic Block. A block is a solid piece of material like this. So this is the block. What is so magical about this? Let's find out. Rinki loves her elder brother's handwriting. He writes with a very special shiny ink pen. So this is Rinki and this is her brother who is older than her. And she likes his handwriting. Look how beautiful the handwriting is. And he writes with a special pen. One day when Baya is not at home, Rinki looks for his pen. She slides open his drawer. So when Baya or her elder brother is not at home, what does she do? She searches for his pen. She opens the drawer out from the table. Out go his books. Out goes a stapler. Out goes a metal ruler. So she's throwing things like this. So here is a book, a stapler here, and a ruler as well. At the bottom of the drawer, Rinky finds his special pen. But what's that? A strange black block is stuck to it. So finally, she finds the pen here, see? but it is stuck to a black block. And what is that? Rinky pulls the pen and the block apart, but then, plink, click, a bottle cap jumps and sticks to the block. Rinky giggles with delight. Can things stick to this block like magic? So what she does, she tries to pull them apart. She tries to make them go separate. She does this. But what happens suddenly? A bottle cap, a cap of a bottle comes there and sticks to this block. And she's <laughs> giggling. What? Is this a magic block? So you can see the cap is stuck to the block and she's removed the pen here. Does the stapler stick to this block? Plink, click. Yes, it sticks. Does the furry cat stick to it? No, it does not. So now she's trying to see um, to what all things that this black block sticks. To the stapler? Yes, but to this furry cat? No, it does not stick to the furry cat. Does the metal ruler stick to this block? Pling, click. Yes, it sticks. So this is a metal scale or a ruler. Does it stick? Yes, it does stick. Does this hairy brown coconut stick to it? No, it does not. So the coconut does not stick to the block. The hairy coconut tickles Rinky's nose. Hachoo! She sneezes loudly. The pen flies out of her hand and disappears under the bed. Rinky is worried. Baya will be back soon. So... What happens when she's trying to see if the block is sticking to the coconut? It tickles. <laughs> it tickles her nose and she says, Hachoo! She sneezes. That is sneezing. And what happens? You can see the pen falls from her hand and rolls, goes under the bed. And now she's worried because she has to keep the pen before her brother comes home. She sticks her hand under the bed. Oh no, she can't reach the pen. So she tries to put her hand under the bed like this and pull the pen out. But she, her hand is too short. It's not reaching the pen. 
she tries to reach the pen with the ruler. Oh no, the pen slides further away. If only there was a way to bring the pen closer to her. So she then takes the scale and then tries to like, you know, pull the pen closer to her. But then the scale pushes the pen further inside. S suddenly, Rinky has an idea. The best idea ever. So she gets a very good idea. Let us see what the idea is. Rinky brings the black block near the ruler. Plink, click, it sticks. She then holds the ruler under the bed and stretches her hand. Stretch, stretch, stretch. So what does she do? She makes the black block stick to the ruler. And then she goes, holds it in her hand and takes it under the bed. She stretches, stretches means taking, uh, taking it as much as possible underneath. So she keeps stretching it and look at her. She stretches her hand and you can see she has the ruler the black block and the pen is like very close. Plink, click. Guess what sticks to the block? You know what sticks to the block, right? Yes, it is the pen. Quick, quick. Baya will be home soon. In go the pen and the black block. In go the books and stapler. In goes the metal ruler. Rinky slides the drawer shut. So then she hurries. She puts the pen, black block, book, stapler, everything, and even the metal ruler into the drawer and then shuts it closed, shuts the drawer closed. Just in time, she hears the door slam and Baya walks into the room. Rinky says Baya, why is there a coconut on the floor? So just in time, she gets everything inside. And then Baya comes into the room and asks, why do I have the coconut here on the floor? So he's asking, why is the coconut on the floor? The secret of the magic block. The magic block in the story is called a bar magnet. Magnets come in many shapes. They can be round, rectangular, square, or U-shaped. A magnet cannot stick to all objects. It can only stick to certain objects that have special elements in them. These special elements that allow an object to stick to a magnet are iron, nickel, steel, and cobalt. So this magic block, what is the magic about it? It's a magnet or it's called a bar magnet. So magnets can come in many shapes, round, rectangle like this, square like this, or U-shaped like this. And they stick to some objects. And what are those objects? These objects need to have either iron, a metal, nickel, steel, or cobalt. If that object has any of this, then the magnet can stick to this to that object. So that's why it cannot stick to a cat, but a stapler is a metal um, and it has steel in it and it can stick to this. I hope you enjoyed the story with me as well as learning about what magnets are. Thank you. Difficult words, strange, unusual, stick, to be fixed to something, Stick usually has a lot of meanings. Usually it refers to a long piece of wood. But here it means to be fixed to something. Giggle, laugh lightly. Disappear, not to be seen. Slam, shut a door with force. Which of these do you think will stick to a magnet? Also discuss why. Thank you.